in this lecture we will discuss about the what is the press tool and where we can use this press tool for making a product and a component okay so uh, as uh, mentioned in this slide press tool press tool are special tools custom built to produce a particular component mainly out of sheet metal okay so uh, where we use the press tool press tool basically we use for making a product or component by sheet metal if we want to make a product by use of the sheet metal then we use press tool okay so here a uh, traditional one uh, the press tool is represented by this diagram here they insert this sheet this is the sheet okay and this sheet they insert in uh, in this press tool and they making a component and this is the sheet metal component uh, by made of this press tool machine this is the press tool machine okay and there one plunger and all the thing the component we will discuss in next slide so uh, we can say the press tool are the special tool custom built to produce a particular component mainly out of sheet metal okay and the example is like that the automobile parts sheet metal parts of the electrical equipment and etc so now uh, we discuss the some type of the press tool and there uh, as mentioned in this slide first one is the simple tool okay next one is the compound tool combination tool bending tool drawing tool and progressive tool these such type uh, some type of the uh, press tool be represent in this slide now what is the simple tool this tool is designed to perform piercing and blanking operation okay means if you want to be what is the piercing and blanking operation okay this is your sheet okay and here you want to make up this hole okay and if this this particular after hole this particular uh, uh, component is is a useful or you can say this is your useful component then this this operation is the piercing operation and if this uh, circular part this part is useful then you can say this is the this is the uh, blanking operation okay that we will discuss about uh, in next slide but uh, what is the simple tool this is the design to perform piercing and blanking operation if you want to cut a hole in your sheet metal and if you want to cut a hole in your sheet metal uh, then you can use the simple tool simple tool used for the making only piercing and blanking operation means at a time you can perform only one operation that is the piercing and blanking operation and only one operation we can perform here so we can say this is the simple tool now what is the compound tool okay that we need to discuss here the blanking and piercing operation okay both operation perform in a single stroke then you can say that is a compound tool compound tool means both operation <coughs> perform in a single stroke okay so now if you see in this die okay there means uh, here this is the sheet workpiece is mentioned here okay i just uh, minimize this part just hmm. so if you see this is the workpiece as mentioned here workpiece okay and here the operation perform here that is the piercing operation means this this part this hollow part made by the piercing operation and this outer part means here they deduct now so this outer part uh, if we see then this is the blanking operation okay so uh, you can say it is a combination of the piercing as well as the as well as the uh, blanking operation so by use of that you can make a, a ring type of the component and here i want to uh, uh, discuss i by one video so i quickly go through the video just wait So uh, in compound die, how to deal with the compound die? Okay. So uh, here, this is the means. Uh, practically, you can understand what is the uh, what is the basic process of compound die. So just wait. 
okay if you see here okay then here blanking as well as the pierce in both operation is done in this uh, in this uh, press tool die okay means uh, there means it, so that type of the thing we can easily uh, understood uh, by video also okay so you can go through this uh, link and you can see what is the what is the piercing operation and uh, how both the operation is done in a single stroke and you can easily understand by this uh, uh, diagram okay there means one hole is making as well as outsider extra excess material is cut okay so there uh, this one is the piercing operation and this one is the blanking operation so, okay now what is the combination time okay so in combination you can say like that the cutting and forming operation are combined and carried out in a single stroke okay means uh, in compound die we discussed in previous slide there uh, blanking and piercing operation both done in a single stroke but here the difference is like that the cutting as well as the forming operation are combined and carried out in a single stroke means you can see cutting means piercing and blanking both are the cutting operation because there we cut the material okay so if you see this is the blank because is it is useful and if this one is useful then you can say that is a piercing operation because uh, so this is the blank okay and now in in single stroke you can see here the forming operation also done okay by this tie only so uh, they are forming as well as the cutting both operation done uh, in a single stroke so you can say cutting plus forming if both operation done in a single stroke then you can say that is the combination tool or you can say combination press tool in combination press tool forming and cutting both are occur in a single stroke okay so now what is the bending tool uh, this is the use to bend the component in a specified shape as mentioned here V bend and U bend means you have a press tool like that by use of the press tool this is your punch this is your punch okay by use of this uh, combination you can make uh, uh, your U shape component and V shape component by use of just forming operation or you can say by just plastic uh, deformation okay there no cutting is occur so such type of the uh, press tool we can say bending press tool so now drawing tool drawing is the process of axial elongation through the application of axial force okay axial force means you need to apply the force in the axial direction means by use of the axial direction you can create such type of the work piece uh, into the product okay so uh, in our kitchen we use the pan and uh, the tea cup they all are uh, the, uh, the tea cup all are made by the use of the drawing tool only okay so that is the drawing tool next is the progressive tool the work piece move from one station to another with separate operation being performed at each station okay so uh, it is like that uh, your uh, the sheet is continuously move in this tie okay by use of the some automation and you perform your uh, means uh, uh, more than two uh, blanking or you can say piercing operation in a single stroke so uh, we need to go through the, this link and try to understand more about the progressive tool so i quickly go through the go through this uh, video just wait okay and try to understand what is the progressive tool just wait. So this is the progressive tool sheet metal and if you see here this is the, your product you can easily see i think there are many many whole uh, means uh, piercing operation done in only single stroke 
so just wait for the what will be the output uh, of this sheet after passing through the uh, this uh, progressive tool so i try to cut this sheet is automatically goes inside okay and another end you will get out Here, if you see this is they create a flange by only single stroke you can create a flange okay so if you see here then there are lot of piercing as well as the blanking operation is done on this particular component okay and you can create a flange okay and that flange is basically used to join two pipe okay and many uh, uh, another application is in your uh, industry okay so this is the progressive tool in progressive tool as we discussed there we done in a single stroke lot of lot of piercing and blanking operation okay if you see here then this whole creation is done by this is small small whole creation is done by the piercing operation okay this hole is created by inside that is piercing operation and this the ring part is the is the output of the blanking operation so this is the progressive tool and as we discuss in the slide also the progressive tool and the main thing is like that there we just need to put the sheet on in input uh, part of this uh, press tool and that sheet is automatically pass inside by some mechanism okay so that is all about the progressive tool So as I discuss, uh, there means how to create a flange that we saw in this uh, YouTube uh, uh, YouTube uh, link, okay? And the workpiece move from the one station to another with separate operation being performed at each station. Means this all done in a one stroke, and there are lot of piercing and blanking operation as well as your workpieces pass through. Uh, just you need to put in inward uh, at an inward. Uh, uh, slot and this is passed automatically and you can get uh, as per the uh, link also you can get your final product and in this uh, link uh, we see that uh, we seen that uh, that is the output is uh, flange okay so how to create a flange by use of the progressive tool okay you can go through this link and you can clear your uh, if there are any misunderstanding uh, misunderstanding you can clear okay so now the type of press operation okay so we know that their press operation basically uh, as per discuss of the different dies we, we know that there is the two type and uh, as per the know that we as per the means uh, strength of material in subject we also discuss there is two type of the, uh, the deformation basically that is the one is the cutting in cutting we remove that particular material okay and next one is the non cutting operation like bending okay that that come into the non cutting operation so there uh, and in some type of the product we combine both the cutting as well as the non cutting operation okay so that we will discuss okay, what type of the operation basically done by the uh, press tool okay so that we will discuss so um, as as we know that uh, the thing is like that the impress tool be basically the input material or input raw material is the metal sheet okay as we know that okay so now the type of cutting operation there are different type of the cutting operation as we know uh, the two in the previous slide that is the piercing and blanking there are another operation also there that is the notching, lancing, parting off, cut off, cropping, purporting, navelling, lowering, trimming, and shaving. That we discuss in one uh, in a, a next slide. Okay, all the operation we discuss by slide uh, in next slide. So first we go through the piercing. What is the piercing? We know that already we discussed that the piercing operation hole are cut on the sheet metal. That is the piercing operation. What is the piercing? We know that already, and uh, 
we generally uh, also means uh, heard as the term ear piercing basically making okay so uh, that uh, means in the piercing operation if you consider this part is the scrap and this is your component okay this part is your component okay then you can say your operation is the piercing operation okay are you getting my point whole are cut on the sheet metal and that sheet metal is now useful component then you can say your operation is the piercing operation now the next is the blanking operation if you consider after the cutting action must be about the complete and or and close counter means here you can make one product okay and this is the circular disc is the useful pro, useful component then you can say that is the blanking operation means they both are the opposite to each other blanking and, and piercing okay in in blanking we can make a one product in each individual stroke and uh, this blank uh, this disc is work as a as a useful component in piercing that disc is scrap means waste material so that is the difference between the piercing and blanking okay so now notching it is an operation for removing a piece of scrap from the edges okay if you want to remove some material from uh, edges of your raw material okay then it is a operation notching so i try to uh, explain or i try to clear what is the notching by use of this link just wait here if you see na they just remove the edges material okay for making a some component so just remove edge by use of the press tool okay Why we need to remove edges or some edges material for me? So maybe some for bending operation and give the special angle as discussed in this video. Okay. So all are here performed. That is the notching operation only. so i think now on uh, what is the notching operation is clear in everyone mind okay so it is an operation of the removing a piece of scrap from the edges why we need to remove as per the requirement of the final product we need to remove okay so now we go for the lensing what is the lensing three side cutting and one side bending operation that is the lensing and uh, as as represented in this uh, in this uh, slide also and we try to cover this uh, by use of this link for better understanding okay so just wait so this is the lensing operation video
so that is uh, lensim operation i i hope now you understood what is the lensim operation in presto so a uh, three slide cutting and one slide bending operation in short we can say there is no slug because the the part which you cut that is not removed from your sheet okay so you can say that is the uh, that is the lensing operation and uh, it 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 needed in some component okay now what is the parting of cut of the material between the two component and to separate it from the parent material okay if you cut like that and this this is behave as a scrap then you can say that is the parting of now i quickly uh, discuss about the what is the cut off the cutting action made be along in a line of action if you cut okay as represent this is the cutting off line and if you cut like that your cutting action must be along a line then you can say that is a cut off okay now what is the cropping the cutting operation to control the strip movement if you pass this uh, sheet metal into the particular machine okay and uh, there is the die size is like that this film insert okay and at this particular corner your uh, sheet is automatically stop and operation is automatically stop the cutting operation to control the strip movement we need to make uh, this type of the cropping on the sheet metal okay now what is the per protein that is the maximum number of hole are pierced in a single stroke that is the per protein operation so i quickly go through the this link and try to miss make clear to what is the per protein to so just wait This is perforated metal mesh machine. Okay, the sheet is continuously passed to your machine, as you can see, and there are lot of piercing operation is done in a single stroke. This side you get output, and that is the output. You can easily see. and this is basically used for many uh, automobile uh, in automobile buses they making for uh, they making our use for such type of the thing okay so now i hope it is clear what is the perforating what is the perforated metal uh, cutting or you can say perforated uh, press tool okay so perforating is already done now we go for the what is the nibbling okay to cut the sheet to uh, size with the help of the punching if you cut uh, the sheet okay if you cut the sheet Uh, to the size with the help of punching then it is it is like a nibbling operation uh, just wait uh. okay so as uh, we know that what is the nibbling operation to cut cut out the sheet to size with the help of the punching if you help of the punch if you cut the your sheet metal okay then you can say that is a nibbling operation and that we quickly go through this link and try to understand okay this is the nibbling
okay so what is the nimbling now i hope it is clear means to cut uh, cut out the sheet to the size with the help of punching okay so by help of the punching if you cut the sheet metal then it's a nibbling and the machine we use that is the nibbling machine okay so now we go for the next operation next cutting operation just wait the next slide louvering okay i think you uh, i hope you heard about the louvering uh, and uh, this uh, basically use in your cooler as well as in our bathroom also we use the louvering so uh, okay what is the louvering the three side forming and one side cutting operation okay so if you see in this diagram there one side is the cutting and three side are the forming operation and we try to clear this also by use of the youtube uh, video so just i go through the video Here we quickly uh, try to see what it they initially set up the all the needed. Okay, so I quickly uh, by use of the press there means press tool means by uh, use of the press force we making a product. Okay, oh yeah, you can see here. Lower means one three side is the forming operation one side is the cutting as you can see in this product okay by use of this punch particular punch you can create this lowering that is the lowering operation i hope this is the loop you can easily see uh, if I try it. Okay. Here, easily see three side there is the forming operation and one side is the cutting operation and there is the lowering. Okay. So now, I hope the lowering uh, operation is uh, understood. Uh, okay. Now I go for the trimming. Okay. The trimming. What is the trimming? To cut the excess material which is left out on the flange the draw component okay so if you by use of the press tool we already discussed uh, if we by use of the uh, press tool and the punch we making uh, this particular component and that is the drawing operation axial load we applied and make this component now there are some excess material outside this very very and how to remove that excess material and uh, by use of the some specific uh, die and uh, that is nothing uh, you can say that is a, a trimming operation okay so now i try to clear by one video okay so here you can see that, that this is the excess material of your product and we need to cut this excess material because that is uh, not uh, not a part of our our final this is the trimming operation okay so they cut the excess material or clash by use of the trimming die and you can say that is a trimming operation we cut the excess material so this is the trimming now we go for the shaving okay in the to give the finish cut to the blank and pierce hole okay after the piercing there may be some uh, defects okay now here they, they represent there are no circularity exact circularity maybe so they need to give some finishing okay so that is nothing but shaving operation so now we go for the type of non-cutting non type of operation in your press tool. So as we know that that is the bending, drawing, embossing, coining, hemming, seaming, curling, bul bulging. Okay. So that we discuss one by one in the slide. So first one is the bending. To bend the sheet at a specified angle. Okay. 
three uh, bend here the sheet at a specified uh, angle at as per the requirement okay so that is the bending operation we all familiar with the bending operation i hope now what is the drawing operation it is the process of changing flat pre-cut metal blank okay we we now we produce first by blanking and piercing operation we produce a blank blank is nothing but the circular disc okay and now by uh, on this that circular disc if we apply axial force then we can make a such type of the product okay and that axial load uh, by use of the axial load if you produce a cup type of the shape okay and uh, there is only forming operation no cutting operation then it's come into the drawing okay it's known this type of the operation known as a drawing operation so as a represent here okay so now i think we next uh, is the uh, embossing embossing is the shallow forming operation at a equal thickness embossing is the process of making impression on the sheet for piece okay as as represent here means shallow forming operation at a equal thickness as represent here equal thickness embossing is the process of the making impression on the sheet and work piece okay that is basically used for the making impression okay impression only not cutting okay they are only forming operation so by uh, if you want to make an impression if you want to draw a name of your company okay by impression then you can go for the embossing operation so i quickly try to uh, uh, try to show you one video for better understanding okay this is the embossing This is by use of the embossing you can create the name of company on your sheet. So that is the embossing die. This is the name means that is the punch you can say and you need to just apply force and by force you can create impression on your sheet metal. Yes that is the embossing good. Okay so I quickly try to cover all the things so I quickly uh, show you all the video okay now what is the coining operation it is the operation for making the impression and depression okay and in the embossing only we produce the impression only now here we impression and depression both we making in a in a one uh, one uh, you can say stroke as as uh, represent here and coining means by uh, we know that how to make a coin and coin their impression and as well as the uh, depression both the operation is uh, we can easily see their uh, uh, present okay on coin and how to make a coin by use of the coining operation and that we try to uh, means uh, understand by this video okay So that is the all about the coining operation. So I quickly try to next operation that is the bulging. Okay. So it is expand the curve along a narrow band and at the line. Uh, okay. It is expand the curve 
along a narrow band and at the same time reduce the height okay so if you see uh, here that is the drawn cup okay now you try to expand this particular very very okay narrow band and how to do that is only by bulging operation bulging operation so here i try to clear all the thing by use of the one video if you want to make uh, this uh, t getter then use of the bulging operation first you need to draw uh, by drawing operation and after we go for the bulge this is the bulging operation this is your drawn pipe side type of operation you can go through the by use of the link all this video okay now we go for the hemming the to join the two sheet we use the hemming operation and we know that uh, in many assembly means many many assembly is done by only this hemming operation sheet metal assembly okay uh, done by the hemming operation so i quickly try to create uh, go through the this video what is the hemming operation that you can easily see how to make this hemming operation okay now by after making this shape you can join the two sheet okay and we know that there are many many uh, assembly means all assembly in our general life if you see the sheet metal product that assembly is done by hemming operation only okay now we go for the seaming okay it is the operation of pushing the metal inside outside all around the periphery okay so uh, as we as shown here and I, I okay I try to show you one video quickly So next one we go for the curling operation what is the curling it is the operation of turn the edge inside okay there are some turn and uh, for safety purpose also they move the edges outside edges into the inside and that is nothing but the curling operation in uh, in our press tool we can say that, like that press tool operation so i quickly go through this video try to understand and if we know that in our uh, general uh, means our life we use the many sheet metal product this is the curling operation by this this bottom part curling operation yeah So I hope you understand what is the cutting operation. So now uh, we cover all the cutting operation, forming operation. I will quickly I discuss. I not go through the each uh, video, but I quickly discuss uh, type of the press tool, C frame, H frame. Okay, according to the table, incline, incline 
non inclining according to stock fix stock variable stock so as per the requirement of the product we select particular that we discussed okay we will discuss in uh, next video i i will try to me the type of the press according to number of slide single action double single action triple action according to drive gear knuckle non gear friction according to force apply okay there hydraulic force sometime it of mechanical force and that is very important because press tool is nothing but by application of the force uh, we making a, a cutting and forming operation and we making our final product so this is the type of the press and uh, i try to show you some c h prem single action so all about this uh, in our press tool you can say press tool the general fundamental knowledge needed for the press tool that we discuss in in this uh, video okay i hope you like thank you very much